In this video we'll be looking at standard form. So take the number 34,320,000,000. If only there was an easier, shorter way of writing this. Luckily for you, standard form does exactly that. So standard form takes any number such as this one and uses the form a times 10 to the n, where a and n are both numbers. So a must be any number between 1 and 10, but it can't be 10 itself, so it must be less than. And n could be any number. So let's take a look at this one. How would we write this big number in standard form? So, because our a value at the front must be between 1 and 10, then we put our decimal point always after the first number. So in this case, it would be 3.432 would be our a. Now, n depends on how many places you would have to move that decimal place to get it to the end of the original number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in this case. So our final number would be 3.432 times 10 to the 10. And you can see that is much easier to say and read. Okay, what if the number is a lot smaller? in this case, less than one. It's exactly the same method, but rather than the decimal moving to the right, we move it to the left, resulting in a negative n. So here, again, we identify our decimal point goes here, because that would leave a to be 3.45. And we want to move that decimal place one, two, three, four places back to the original. But because we've moved it to the left this time, our n is going to equal minus 4. So going back to our original form, a times 10 to the n. This time you can just fill in the gaps, 3.45 times 10 to the minus 4, just like that. Okay, so we've done from a number into standard form. How about the other way around? So this one is actually quite simple. We write out our original 5.37. All that this bit means is we are just timesing by 10 five times. So if we times it by 10 once, just by basic maths, this decimal will move one place up, becoming 53.7. But we do it five times. So that decimal, we need to move five places from the original. Now I would draw some zeros in because we will be exceeding the seven. I move it five places to the right. We have one, two, three, four and five. So then you can cut off the rest of them and this is the remaining number. 537,000. So with standard form, there are some very common powers that keep existing, which are very crucial to remember. So some common scenarios, we have 10 to the three is, is like timesing by a thousand. 10 to the 6 is like timesing by a million, and 10 to the 9 is like timesing by 1 billion. So if ever you see, for example, 3 times 10 to the 6, we know that this equals 1 million, so that is going to be 3 million. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helped.